Welcome back to my Nissan Freerages AX Twin Turbo. We are replacing the water pump, the thermostat, the fan belt and some rad hoses. In the last couple of videos, we got off these top timing belt covers. We got off these cooling hoses what come out of here. We've got off the pulley what comes off the front of the water pump. So if you haven't already watched those videos, go back and watch those videos. Now, the next thing to do is to get off this lower timing belt cover so we can get access to the bottom bolts on the uh, water pump. However, to do that, we need to get off Frank pulley. And to do that, we need to get off this belt here, which is the power steering belt, which we need to loosen up the power steering pump in order to do that to do that there is here there's a uh, bolt here which you undo and then right under the bottom there there's another bolt which you're doing it kind of loosens out there i did that and uh, it's not coming off it won't budge and then i realized there's also a bolt which is hidden behind this pulley here and what you need to do is you need to turn the pulley around so that this hole lines up with the bolt so you can get access to the bolt and to do that, what we need to do is turn the crank pulley. And to do that, what we need is a 27mm socket, which I've had to go out and buy. That goes in the end of there. Then that will allow us to move the engine backwards and forwards as we require. So if we go down here, you see the pulley here with a little hole in the top of it. So we need to move that so that we can access that bolt right there because although this bolt undoes the adjustment bolt and the adjustment bolt adjusts it backwards and forwards which will pull that in and out like that this bolt here allows it to pivot so if we don't undo this bolt everything we've done here won't do anything because it'll still be solid so this down here I have discovered is a 14mm bolt so pick that off well loosen it hopefully allow yeah won't allow that to pivot marvellous i can't see any reason why that's not going to move now because that's loose so it should be able to pivot on that the rest of it's loose so it should be able to slide in the slider so all i can think of is uh it must be sort of rusted on seized up round here where it's supposed to pivot So a bit of WD-40 in there. No, it's not going anywhere. No, it's slackening up, so yeah, it's definitely seized. Well, I've been like an hour snacking in off that bolt on the bottom, the furthest it's going. This is slack, but it's not quite enough to go off. And there's a pipe behind the bolt, so it can't go out anymore. So, it's time for plan B. Which I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Yep. There's two parts to plan B. So we need to hold it. Yep, yeah, we need to lose our socket inside the car. We need to hold that with the breaker bar so the engine don't turn over. And then we're going to try and slacken that off. Uh, nope, that's not happening. Looks like it's back to plan A then. Right, so I managed to get the belt off by uh, whacking that and it's just moved very slightly but it was too tight to come off. But what I did is I pulled the belt at the same time as uh, rotating the engine with the breaker bar on the uh, crank pulley down there. So obviously I'm not going to be able to put it back on and this does need to move so I can put the new belt up, well put the belt back on when we're done and adjust it. It should basically, there's a big bolt that goes through there and it pivots on that bolt. And uh, there's obviously some kind of uh, rust or whatever's got in the two points here and it's causing friction and it won't move. But the belt's off for now, which means we can crack on with that and then we can worry about that later. 
So to get the crank pulley off, there is a 27 mil um, bolt in the end of it, which we need to take out. But if we turn this, what happens is that's turning the engine over. So what we need to do is we need to go put the car in a gear so that the clutch will connect the uh, gearbox and the wheels so that it won't be able to turn the engine over. And then hopefully we'll get some kind of uh, leverage. So put it in fifth. And then we're going to go and uh, try and turn that. And it'll probably move the car and that's probably how Brian Harvey managed to run himself over. But let's see what happens. Yep, still turning the engine a bit. Oh, yep. That went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Yep, was not expecting that. So I've got my 27mm socket, but it's an half inch. I don't have an half inch uh, ratchet, but I do have an half inch breaker bar. But obviously you can't really rotate that. But now we've loosened it, hopefully we can take this out by hand. Yep, it's raining and I'm getting wet. Yep, there's a big bolt in there, it's coming out. Look at the size of that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say a prayer to the car gods and we're gonna see if this is gonna come off. See, there is a uh, tool for this crank poly puller Basically, it's a bolt in the middle, and then two bolts there that pull on that, and it pushes to the middle and it pulls the back. Or you get one with like claws round here. I don't have that. One of those is like 90 quid. If we achieve the pace, there'll be to come along, we want to take it off. But if we give it a bit of a wiggle. Nope, that's not having it. I think we're probably going to have to borrow one. So, to get this off, which is a crank uh, pulley, because basically the crank goes right through the bottom of the engine it stands out here and the pulley goes on the end of it so it's called a crank pulley if you look for a crank pulley puller and you go into an engineering shop they'll want like 90 quid plus the fat however that is also known as an harmonic balancer and if you look for an harmonic balancer puller you get this for 10 quid off amazon so the way this works is you get uh, this big bit here and what you get is this big bolt and the big bolt will go through the centre of here, like so. And in the centre of your crank pulley, you're going to have the, uh, the crank what comes down there and the uh, original bolt will thread in the middle of that, like so. And then on the uh, crank pulley wheel, there's going to be a thread there and a thread there. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the bolt through each side. These uh, move backwards and forwards like that into each one. Like that. And when you tighten this up, that's going to move forward and push against that. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull these, which is going to pull the uh, pulley against the crankshaft so it's going to pull it off like that and then you're going to take this out and you're going to get your pulley off however this is a universal kit and none of these bolts here are going to fit in the thread down there but what we do have is this which is I believe an M4 possibly M5 and a washer and a washer like so and this does a bit tight because it's a bit rusty but that fits in there so there's one there and there's another one up there so what we're going to do is we're going to put this back in the middle but we're not going to put it all the way in we're just going to put it so that it's just in and because the bolt's not quite all the way in you're going to have a little bit of travel on the bolt so it's got a little bit of travel for this so that it can pull it just enough to get it free and then we can take the bolt out and then pull her off and then this should come off fingers crossed so got that in off camera because it is a little bit uh, fiddly so what you've got to do is make sure that these bolts are in an equalish amount so that it's pulling it um, evenly so that's in the top thread that's in the bottom thread and this big bolt here is lined up on the end of the original bolt 
on the end here this is a 19 mil but obviously that's going to depend on the uh, pulley you've got so all I need to do is return this hopefully it's going to nope that's going sideways so take two there is a little metal attachment what goes on the end of this which goes into the little indent in the end of the bolt it doesn't quite fit so it can slip about a bit but what i've had to do is put the bolt in a little bit further because these bolts here weren't long enough obviously if this doesn't work i'm gonna have to go get some longer bolts done these up i've put some extra washers in here as well to try and stop these uh slipping sideways because the uh washers what come with it <laughs> well they only just fill that big massive slider obviously it's designed to have these bigger bolts in which are too big for that and it also started raining so yeah that's trying to go sideways but if we push it this way yep i can see it moving sort of right so that's gone as far as that's going so what we need to do now is pull the bolt back take this off again undo the bolt in there a little bit so that it's a bit further out so we've got some more travel on the bolt and then repeat so we're just going to wind the uh, main bolt out a little bit not sure how much we're going to do this but we're going to take it fully out and then put it back in a little bit and see if we've got enough room that's fully out i'm going to put the turns so it's just on the thread so let's see if we're going to get this back in here probably not let's find out Yep, that lines up, that's good. Because this is really kind of awkward to get lined up without dropping everything. Somewhere there's a hole there. socket goes that way around and it also talks that way that's uh, reasonably on so we'll make sure that's kind of straight maybe it was a bit more at the bottom So back on with the 19. It's quite slack at the moment. Yeah. Like that. And repeat. Yeah, that's locking loose. 
Yep, she's out. Bolt's really stiff because that 10 mils right down there. That bolt's really stiff because the threads are all rusty because they're old like me and my back aches now. Loose, it's blooming heavy. I say it's loose, it's loose ish. Oh, I know what the problem is. <laughs> I've left the bolt in. So, take that out. And now it should come off. Yeah, wow, that's got some weight to it. So, yep, that's that. And that's not a bad kit for a tenner off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description because. It does work, you need some extra bolts to make it fit this car, but you get quite a few if it wants to fit on a different car, which it probably does fit because this car's getting awkward. But yeah, not bad for a tenner. So the one thing it could do with is a lid. However, it does have this packaging which it came with, which you yeah, have to cut open. So we're gonna use that to stop all the bits going walkies, but 10 quid, can't complain. So next, take off this lower time belt cover so I can get access to the water pump. Yeah, still not coming off. Doesn't appear to be anything down there. It does seem to be something down here somewhere. About, where you've gone. Yep. yep, something 10 milli, about, about there. Very tight and awkward to get to. Yep. Well, that's not it. It's holding it on down the bottom somewhere. And what? I have to look at a manual. Ah, there's another bolt here, which is not ten mil. So yeah, we've got an 8mm bolt down the bottom here, and yeah, the 10mm bolt over there, I'm pretty sure it's not stopped that that's 8mm, I think somebody's put the wrong one in, and it's not done up fully anyway, but nevertheless, it's got to come out. and always go where's the best place to put them on bolt we can't fucking see them that's wet
Well, there you go, one side, other side. Eight, ten. Why? Fuck knows. But, does it come off? I'm stopping you now. Oh, yeah, there's another one here. There's nothing up there. Let's see if we're lucky and this is 8 mil because the 8 mil's still on the thing I put it in. Wow, yep, yeah, that's 8 mil. It's also slipping on the blooming head, which is not good. So to get that off, I'm probably going to need a six point socket. So nip down to tool station and that was no good. So I nicked a screw fix and I got this because you can't buy one on it. So you have to buy a set and that cost me the best part of 20 quid. So it better work. So it comes with a little extension arm, which yeah, just about fits. But I think, take this off now. It's going to be fun. I think we're in luck. And in for some very dirty hands. Look at that. So what that means is there's something else holding it. Somewhere. Not quite sure where. Because that's not got anything in it. Neither's that. And doesn't appear to be anything down here. Seems it's down the bottom that it's catching. Yeah. No idea. Seems to be stuck down here, but there don't seem to be anything holding it on. Nope. Nothing. Ah. Yep. That's a nice little hidden boomy bolt there and all. Yep. Guess what size that is? Eight mil. So yeah, there's an 8mm and it's in there and it's behind this bracket for the uh, alternator. So I'm going to have to take this bracket for the alternator off but the alternator is going to be adjusted anyway when we put the new belt on so just doing it in a different order I guess. Yeah, that's a 12. That's stiff. Still stiff. Yep, it's moving very slowly. Yeah, that's a long... Oh, that's a fucking... It's probably not how you take the alternate bracket off, but this is how we're taking it off. Yep, that's that. So theoretically, if we had to move that, oh, guess not. So to move that up, because normally that doesn't come off and there's an adjuster bolt on that down the bottom, a little slider. 
but there's also a pivot bolt which I think is that one at the top of the uh, alternator which I've tried a few sockets and it appears to be a 17 I think it's in the right place to be for pivoting so let's see what happens yep it's stiff though well got that pivot bolt undone and it does allow a little bit of movement here I don't know if it's going to be enough to be able to get the socket in there, but we're going to find out. There are sockets hidden somewhere around here. Let me find out where it was. About. Yep. That's going to be a pain in the ass. So I managed to move it about 5mm, which uh, apparently seems to be enough to get to this bolt. Get this bolt out and see what happens. That's it, that's the little git, which means now, hopefully, ta-da!